hi guys you're all welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process on how to bypass icloud log to owner after the bypass the phone will be back to normal and you can be able to use your sim card just like it was before this actually supports all iPhones starting from iPhone 6s up to iPhone X and also iPads. So, in case you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and drop a comment. Now, to get started, we need to go straight and launch the SMD RAM disk. After launching the SMD RAM disk, then you go ahead and connect your iPhone device. Before you launch the SMD RAM disk, make sure that your PC is connected to the internet. Then you go ahead and connect your device to the PC. Once your device is connected to the PC, SMD RAM disk will detect your device immediately. And once your device is detected, then SMD RAM disk will also check if your device is supported for the bypass just in case your device um, is having a sim lock which is a carrier lock it will automatically notify you that your device is having a carrier lock which means after the bypass you won't be able to use a sim card so this shows that my device is supported but the serial number is not authorized if the software notifies you that the serial number is not authorized, this means that your serial number is not yet registered to the server. So you need to contact your server or contact a trusted reseller to help you register your serial number. And in case you don't have any trusted reseller, you can contact me on my WhatsApp number on the screen and I'll help you register your serial number as soon as possible now let's move on to the next step as soon as your serial number is successfully registered then you need to relaunch the smd ram disk and then connect your device to the pc and once your device is connected to the pc then the SMD RAM disk will automatically detect your device and run a check again. And as you can see, my device is supported. Now you go ahead and click start. As soon as you click on the start button, your device will automatically boot into recovery mode and then the jailbreaking process will start. Make sure to follow the screen step-by-step -step guide in order to jailbreak your device using the SMD RAM disk tool.
The jailbreak process is complete and the software will run a quick check to make sure that everything is ready to complete the bypass. Right now your device is completely set and ready for the bypass and all you have to do is to click activate and your device will be activated immediately. Now let's go ahead and click on activate. And the activation process will start immediately. This process shouldn't actually take you long, but it all depends on your internet connection. And now the activation is complete. As you can see on the on the PC, your device is activated. And now the iPhone will reboot back to the main menu. The whole bypass process is complete and you can see that this device is back to the way it was before. Let's go ahead and put in a SIM card and check if everything is working perfectly. Wow, the sim is working 100%. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Stay blessed.